even a small pullback in the stock of a fabulous company that's riding a powerful multi-year theme, I think you need to be ready to jump all over it. And that's how I'm feeling right now about Kramer Fave Blackhawk Network Holdings. That's Hawk for all you home gamers. It's a stock that's up almost 20% since we last spoke to the CEO in February, and one that's given us a monster 59% gain since I first recommended it 11 months ago. For those of you who aren't familiar with this one, Blackhawk is a leading global distributor of prepaid cards and gift cards. You've seen them, serving hundreds of brands, running incentives and loyalty programs for over 2,000 business partners. We know the gift card and affinity card business has been red hot. Blackhawk's been one of the best ways to play it. Company reported terrific quarter a little more than a month ago with huge top line and bottom line beats, not to mention upside sales and earnings guidance for the full year. Plus, earlier last month, Blackhawk announced a really intriguing acquisition of Achievers Corp. we got to talk about this. It's a leading provider of employee recognition and reward solutions that help co- uh, companies make their workers more engaged. That was for $110 million, giving them a strong foothold in a rapidly growing category. Yet, thanks to the market-wide sell-off in recent weeks, Blackhawk stock is now down 4% from its highs, and I think this could be a good entry point. Don't take it from me. Let's dig deep with Bill Tauscher, the chairman and CEO of Blackhawk Network Holdings. Learn more about his company as prospects. Mr. Tauscher, welcome back to Mad Money. Good to see you, you, sir. Last time you were on, Bill, we were kind of in the grips of people not really understanding the story, thinking that somehow your organic growth had slowed or that you had missed the digital side and you were just the cards. What happened to finally get people to realize that it was a great quarter? Well, I think part of it was we had to um, simplify the way we broke out the numbers, and part of it we just had to tell it multiple times. You know, we had a series of events. We we, uh, increased the amount of acquisitions we were doing. We got this tremendous tax benefit and we spun out. And we have a digital business growing like mad. Everybody assumed something must be wrong somewhere because it just didn't all seem to all make sense. And in fact, when they got all the numbers, they found out that each one of those cylinders is hitting quite well. Right. And the, the growth of accounts, just give them like five years ago versus how many you have now. Well, of course, we're now in 24 countries, so right. we've literally gone to 200,000 different stores around the world that are actively trading our gift cards, and we had well less than half of that if you go back the three or four years. The business has grown probably somewhere in the neighborhood from a profit standpoint over the five years about five times. That's incredible. Now, this Whole Foods distribution deal that you announced, it wasn't clear to me exactly how that's different. Uh, they ran a pilot program, they loved what you did, and now they're doing a full blowout. What will that look like? Well, Whole Foods, of course, is, a, is an interesting animal. We all know them. We all know about right. them. They've designed a very special program. Even the cards can't be plastic. They're going to have a loyalty program tied to a whole um, charity thing. Uh, they're going to be huge simply because of their demographic. They've got huge traffic, and they've got a very high demographic. So people who buy gift cards a lot, uh, we've now gotten all the approvals for it to roll out. It'll roll out over the course of the next year. It'll be large. Well, that is very important because people felt they lagged in loyalty. So that was what I needed to hear. Now, this Achievers, you just made this uh, good acquisition, and I want people to understand that even an outfit like Alliance Data, which I thought one day would be your enemy, is part of your client base for Achievers. So talk about what this new acquisition means. Well, Achievers is a fascinating company. You know, for years, people have given employees rewards when they reach 10 years, and you get your chotsky and you throw it in the corner of the desk, right? What Achievers has done is recognize that, especially in younger employees, rewards need to be more frequent. They need to be about accomplishments, project wins, et cetera. Mm -hmm and they need to be tied thoroughly with recognition. So this company's built a platform, I think it'll be the next ubiquitous HR platform, where it manages all of that stuff to a budget, lets the management do what it wants from an employee tracking and employee incentive program, but does inside the corporate infrastructure, socially inside the infrastructure, tons of recognition tied to those rewards. Well, what, what confused me was that I know that if you do gift cards, say, if you do them at Christmas, at holiday time, the IRS doesn't mind. How will you take the taxes out? How will, uh, how will achievers make it so that people don't have to pay tax on something that's a gift card? It's actually all managed as part of the platform. There are taxes required, and right. it's all managed. And of course, historically, all incentive programs started out as merchandise, then there was some travel, and it's now migrating to gift cards because there's just so much more flexibility in the denomination and the choices that you get. It's what makes it a growth industry. Are there companies that have achievers that do not have your regular business and you'll cross sell? Oh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing. If you think about it, this is a large corporation focused on... This is a company focused on large corporations who have lots of employees. Right. We are full of retailers. Yes. Large corporations with lots of employees. And we're working hard to get every one of them introduced to it. Now, when I go to the wall and I see all your cards, are there people who are saying... Uh, well, that's Jim's generation. We don't do that. We all do digital cards. I mean, because I still like them, and I send them to my kids as gifts for, you know, if it's their birthday, Valentine's Day, whatever. I mean, am I old-fashioned, and I'm supposed to be using the digital version? 
Well, you know, the digital thing's interesting. It's gotten so much noise, and people have said, that, geez, that's got to be the end of Black Hawk, right. et cetera. The truth is, we are a complete leader in the digital space. If you go on Amazon, as an example, all but the Amazon gift cards we supply. If you go on eBay, it's the same story. If you go on a series of websites of the biggest retailers, it's the same story. Uh, if you go to programs that are using gift cards now to reward people as part of their credit card loyalty program, we now have several of those. But it's still only 3 or 4% of our business. Now, it's grown 100%. Right. So far, it's been incremental. One of the problems with an electronic gift card, they're hard to redeem because electronic right. payments aren't ready for redemption. Right, they're not. And I always feel with the card, I feel so good. And the cards look good. They look just like the nameplate. They do. And people really love that. Well, look, I, I, last time you were on, I know, it was in the midst of when they were trying to explain to the analysts. The analysts didn't get it. Now they're getting it. And that's why the stock's going where it should be going. That's Bill Tauscher, the chairman and CEO of Blackhawk Networks Holdings. One of the most exciting stocks I follow. You've really got to get, get involved with it. Mad Money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs. Plus, market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.